Hi, Jeff from Kingston Lures, and welcome to our how to videos. In this video, we're just going to run through how to put uh, trail hooks, or as some call them, sting hooks, onto spinnerbaits. Everyone has their own ideas on what way works best. I'll just run through a few different ways, and then you can make up your own mind as to which one you prefer. Uh, first off, I'll run through a few of the different materials that can be used to secure the trail hooks to the spinnerbaits. There's a few others you could use, although I'll be here all day, so I'll stick with the ones I know for now. Uh, we have the hook bling trailer skirts, vinyl tube, latex tube, soft glow beads, small circles of plastic made out of an ice cream container, or small pieces of uh, vinyl tube. We'll show you how to do the um, ones from the ice cream container at a later stage. Using saltwater grade trailer hooks with a medium length shank. These have a large eye, so they'll easily fit over the barb of the main hook. There's lots of other brands and types out there to choose from. Uh, first off, we'll use the uh, rubber skirt collars. Though you can use any of the other materials as mentioned to get the same result. Spinner bait. the skirt collars onto the main hook, slide down into position, place your trail hook over the main hook, followed by a second skirt collar, slide down in position, and there you have it. Here's another version prepared earlier using the um, glow beads. This will give a little bit more attraction too if you charge up the glow beads and fishing in low light conditions. Okay, the next one I'll be using the vinyl tube and the latex tube. The latex has a bit better spring to it, although both will do the same job. Uh, two ways to go about it. First way, cut a piece of vinyl or latex tube about 10mm long. I'll use the vinyl tube for this one. Slide it over the tray hook to about the halfway mark. Take the main spinnerbait hook, pierce through the underside, make sure you're picking up the eye of the trail hook, and straight through the other side. Another quick and easy way to do it. Second way, cut a piece of tube or latex tube around the 15mm mark. I'll use latex tube for this one. Place it over the trail hook. Slide it up to about the halfway mark. Holding the trail hook, take the main hook, place it into the tube, bringing it up through the eye of the trail hook and out through the side of the tube. Slide down into position. This method gives less movement of the trail hook and allows the hook to spring back into position if you hit a snag and this would probably be the preferred method by most how to put sting hooks on. Now, this time we're going to use the hook bling trailer skirt. These come with or without hooks. The ones we have here are fitted with hooks and they come in six colours. As I've just shown with the tube, you can put these on the same two ways. Straight through both sides or just through one. I'll quickly run through it again. Main hook. Hook bling. Through one side of the hub through the eye of the trail hook and straight out the other side. Another one place into the skirt, pick up the eye of the trail hook and out one side of the tube and slide down into position.
is a great for adding a bit of length to your spinnerbait. They can also be used on treble hooks as an attractor for hard body lures, as a jig or spinnerbait skirt, and can be used on uh, snapper, snatcher type rigs to catch snapper. The final one we're going to put a trail hook onto a spinnerbait that has a soft plastic. I like to use the free swinging method. Some like to have the trailer hook set into the soft plastic, although with our spinners the hook sits far enough back that I don't think it's necessary. Pretty much the same way we started out. You can use a glow bead, a skirt collar, a piece of vinyl tube, or in this case we're going to use the ice cream container lid. So we punch out a few holes in the lid. Grab a little bit of plastic, paste put a small hole in it first with the hook or a nail will do, just be careful. Trail hook over your main hook, slide it down. Place your little bit of plastic on the main hook and carefully slide it down, it's quite firm. Get it past the barb, slide it down, slide it down nicely onto the trailer. As mentioned earlier, you could use a rubber skirt collar, a glow bead, or a small piece of vinyl tube to get the same result. So there we have it. Lots of different ways to do it, and there'll be differing opinions on which way works best. Some will say the trailer hook should be set into the soft plastic. Some will say free swinging, as it gives the fish less purchase, so less chance of throwing the hook. And some will say you don't need a trail hook at all. My advice, try a few different versions and discover which one works best for you. Hope this has helped, and thanks for watching.